Hi, Divine Feminines. We're getting right into the love messages from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. So overall energy is our connection still affects me. So the start currently thinking about you, Divine Feminines. If you feel like they're not thinking about you, they are. And they're not telling you this. You know, we have, I feel, safer and silence clarified. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. You are still constantly on their mind, Divine Feminines. They have never, ever um, forgotten you here. They're saying that you guys will be together again. They just got spooked for some of them here. And they know that in the future, things are going to work out. We have past energy here with, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Because in the past here, you were the Divine Feminine. You were standing in their power. And a lot of them kind of got intimidated by that and didn't really know if they can step up. And for some of them here, we have lying, which is easier for me than telling you the truth. I think this is more so with Divine Feminines who are dealing with DMs and karmic situations here. They just didn't even know how to tell you what was going on. If um, Divine Feminines, if you were in Divine Masculine was not dealing with the karmic, they just was saying, you know, you, you felt the love, you felt the connection, you felt the emotions. Maybe they were just pushing back on you saying, you know, I don't feel that way about you. We're just friends type thing. And they're seeing that they were lying this whole time here and they want to come forward and tell you how they feel. But we have your intensity frightens and allures me at the same time. Kind of with that same energy with I don't know how to meet your expectations. Like you are just everything to me and it's kind of hard to explain how I feel here. And we have some regret. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. So again, um, a lot of things pertaining to you, Divine Feminines, where there's a lot of regret. They wish they could have done things differently, but they're not going to tell you this. Why? Because they feel safer in silence here, all right? Yeah, they're wondering if they're good enough. They're wondering. They're following their intuition, but again, they're not taking the risk. A lot of them, depending with the fire sign, Aries, Zeo, Sagittarius, or Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, they're wondering if they have enough financially to come towards you here. And if you're dealing with a fire sign, they just don't want to take the risk yet, but they're following their intuition. They feel a poor, a poor towards you, divine feminines. Clarify, I'm finally playing the consequences of my actions. Yeah. Because things have taken a turn for the worse in their lives here. And, you know, you read what you sow. Judgment has finally kind of caught up to them here. And the universe right now, they're just putting them through a rough moment. But you guys always understand that the will of fortune is always constantly changing, right? This is the universe. This is divine fate, divine timing. And they're in a rough patch, but they're following their intuition, thinking about how they can come forward. Um, for a lot of you... Since you guys been in separation, your lives have just been just complete chaos here. Yeah, and they want a new beginning with this Ace of Wands, strong fire energy. And they're kind of excited about getting out of this rough cycle here. If you saw that Divine Masculine reading, the Karmics, they're getting rid of that here. Clarify, we will be together again. <laughs> we have Gemini here with the Lovers and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Gemini and dealing with the Earth sign here. Uh, divine friends, you could be a Gemini. They're saying that they will be together again. But right now, they have to get into this King of Pentacles mode to be able to not only take care of themselves, but take care of you. Remember, Divine Feminist, the Twin Flame is all about individual journeys here. You have to individually self-heal, get yourself together before you be can become one with your Twin Flame here. So they're saying be just be patient for some of you here. Clarify, I got spooked. Yeah, they got spooked into not giving you this commitment, this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They know the connection was strong. They felt um, what you felt, but they were juggling with it. They, you know why? Because your intensity, the strong-ass connection that you felt, it scared them away. I'm dealing with the Capricorn here, they just, they're struggling with, um, should I let this be stagnant or should I come forward and try to figure out... Um, how to speak to you here. But we have the moon. I don't know how to meet your expectations here. Why? Because a lot of things have come to light. Again, you know, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, karma, judgment here in reverse. You know, they're reaping what they're sowing at the moment, but they know their intuition is telling them here with the moon that they have to make this right. They're dealing with the Libra or Pisces that they have to balance things out here in order to make it work. They're getting some counseling here if you're dealing with the Taurus. Now we have all four major arcanas. Do you guys see this? Do you see this energy here? This is a major shift that's happening at the moment, a karmic cycle that's ending. 
We have lying, which is easier for me to tell you the truth, with this three of cups at the bottom of the deck here. So again, some of them may put you in third parties here. And it's just like they didn't want to hurt you, not realizing that they were hurting you when shit hit the fan here. And they feel like you kind of have your own guard, which as you should be here, because you just some of my families, you don't trust this person yet. And it's like they know that your defenses is that your defenses is up here, but they want you to like let go of this because they're gonna come in, but they know that when they're ready to talk to you and meet up here, they know that your guard is going to be up and they're going to tell you this to try to make you feel as comfortable as possible here. They know that things didn't manifest the way that they wanted. Why? Because they were selfish. But at the same time, in the same breath, that they don't want to let you go with the four of pentacles. Clarify your intensity and frightens lures me at the same time. And again, past energy here, but they're trying to get out of this. They're trying to come forward because the passion, the attractiveness is still there um this turns them on <laughs> in a weird way i'm just gonna say that which is why they don't want to let you go because you know exactly what you want here we have the world they want a new start with you but again cancer energy they just trying to set um i don't want to say goals but they're plotting they're planning on how to come towards you because they know for some you know they broke your heart here they caused a lot of pain and that's why we have this regret here if i knew then what i know now I would have made different choices why because the woes are reversed they're going through it divine feminines definitely here yeah in the past they didn't lack the ambition to try to make this work they didn't fight for you well now we have the king of swords and the king of cups is gemini libra aquarius and cancer square pisces they want to try to make this work. They're, they want to cut out the bullshit and just speak to you from an, in, from an emotional place here. They're really thinking about you a lot. But again, their pride and ego right now with the five of swords is definitely, definitely holding them back at the moment. I'm just going to get some romance angel cards, guys, and just see how they're feeling about you at the moment. Is there anything else here for my divine feminines? This divine masculine have to say... We have children. Yeah, your love life's being affected by children. So for some of you, you could have a child with divine masculine. They okay? could have a child with a karmic. The only reason they're not coming in and telling you this is because they have children with this person. They're trying to tend to their responsibilities first here. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So they're talking about you to close friends here. You know, in the past, they weren't. But now they're such in a deep um, hole at the moment that... It's forcing them to speak up and tell people how they feel, no matter what they think they're crazy or not. Why? Right? Because they want your forgiveness here. We have forgiving and learning. It's release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. And they're saying that you deserve love. So Cooper's arrow is definitely pointing here. They're definitely, again, like I said, plotting. But there's still some codependency issues that they have to heal, which is why this King of Swords and the King of Cups is here. They're going to do the work. They are doing the healing right now. Divine Feminines keep putting in your inner work because this is going to help the Divine Masculine ascend, guys. All right? So back to the good personal reading, please go to my website below, and I appreciate the support.